In the last class, we solved problems on how to draw a black table. Today, we are going to see how to draw a table with information in that. How to fill the information in a black table. So, the problem is, in our sample study, regarding Regarding smoking habits in a town the following data are obtained. The following data are obtained.
second me women population next column total so this is the blank table that we have prepared now we are going to enter the information in this blank table
draw a table. The similar kind of problems you can solve. Next, we are going to present it as town A in 
that male female total and the next we are also provided with town b information so next part will be town b male female
we have prepared the blank table now we are going to fill the information in this table first of all we will read the first sentence that is number of students in a college in the year 2005 was 510 that means total number of students in the year 2005 is was 510 so in total column in front of 2005 we are going to write as 510 next out of this of this means out of 510 people or students 480 were boys where you are going to write this 480 we are going to see that in 2005 out of 510 480 were boys that means under boys column we are going to write in front of 2005 as 480 next in 2010 now the information regarding 2010 is given so before writing the information regarding 2010 we will fill the row of 2005 so total then 510 out of that 480 are girls so how many are girls 510 minus 480 so food note 510 minus 480 which is equal to so this is the first calculation next we will see the information regarding 2010 in 2010 the number of boys increased by 100 percent that means and that of girls increased by 300 percent of that of 2005 they have come So in 2005 how many boys were there? In 2005 there were 480 boys. But now in 2010 number of boys increased by 100%. That means, so in 2010 number of boys. In 2005 how much it was? 480 plus increased by. That's why plus 480 into 100%. That means 480 plus 100% of 480 is again 480. So 480 plus 480 is 906. So this 960 you are going to write it here. In 2010 number of boys 960. They have told in 2010 number of boys increased by 110% of that of 2005. Next I will see number of girls. Girls also increased by 300%. So girls, 2010 number of girls. Yes. How many were there in 2005? There were 30 girls and increased by how many percent? 30, 300 percent. So 30 into 300 percent. So that is nothing but 30 plus 300 percent of 30 is nothing but 90. So 30 plus 90 is 120. So number of girls in 2010 is 120. So this is also computed. Now we can easily calculate the total number of students in 2000. Then 960 plus 120 is 1080. Next. Now next we will, next we will read the question. In 2012, now we are going to fill the row 2012. The total number So we can, we have calculated how many are boys and how many are 
girls. They have told that number of boys are double the number of girls. So it means two is to one ratio. So one thousand two hundred into two by three means one thousand two hundred into one by three. So boys are eight hundred and girls four hundred. Now we can calculate the total of all these columns. So first column total is twenty two thousand. Uh, sorry, two thousand two hundred and forty. That is total number of boys in all the three years. Next total number of girls in all the three years are five hundred and fifty. Now we will calculate the total of both the total column. It is two thousand seven hundred and ninety. So like this, we are going to tabulate. 